Hello, people of the earth, switch off the old chat, and welcome back to Quicksafe TV. My name is Mike, and this is Heart of the Swarm. When we left off, we just completed five missions in this game. I also took liberty to go ahead and took myself, take myself some achievements. Got myself the rat race, got myself the this thing, brutal legend, got myself Zerg, save the queen. Uh, this was relatively easy, and some other unique achievements, uh, which are related to all sorts of badassery. When we left off, we were... You know, I was deliberating over a choice. Overlords or the Zerg Zergling Reconstruction. I've decided to go ahead and roll with the Zergling Reconstruction, as it has an achievement assigned to that. And achievements are proven to be scientifically good, as they do absolutely nothing except for increase the total number of achievements that you have, right? Good. Perfect. Now, we'll go to Evolution Bit right now, instead of doing our um, primary objective, and complete the Evolution mission, so... Apparently we're supposed to... Let me just go ahead and take a look at my guys. No, I don't like Frenzy. Frenzy is shit. 20 maximum life. Grooved spines. Life. Spines. Frenzy. Oh my god, I don't know. Frenzy is also awesome. Oh yeah, I'll just take Grooved spines. Because <laughs> I'm fucking boring. <coughs> Yeah, I wanted to try Bile on my roaches. No, on Hydras I'll try some health. I just want to take a look at it, how it's going to work. Zerglings, I tried Har Carapace. I figured out it was moderately effective. It was pretty awesome. This didn't felt so good, really. Because, um, although they attack a lot faster and they deal a lot of damage, it didn't felt like they were... It didn't felt like they were a lot stronger, in my opinion, right? Because, well, like, it takes them a while to reach the enemy and they die too quickly anyway. I'll try with the speed, with the classical thing. Let's go to Evolution Mission. Zergling strain ready for augmentation. Unique essence discovered on Dominion Security World. Collect essence, adapt to Zergling, destroy Dominion outposts. This is so awesome. So we have Raptor strain, fast melee unit, able to jump up and down cliffs, leaps towards enemy units. What the fuck? And swarmling strain, fast melee unit, morphs almost instantly and spawns in groups of three. Which is a lot better for defense, and yeah, a lot cheaper to produce. But Raptor, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> so, okay, let's go, and, let's go and take a look at it. What the hell? First evolution mission. Oh, look at this. Huh, <laughs> he's playing with the DNA. Look at him. You can morph a large number of Zerglings very quickly. Use their numbers to overwhelm large enemies. And as I sip some... Fanta. <laughs> We're going to take forever to load this game. Ma'am, ma'am, man, I'm so pumped for the Heart of the Swarm, but I hardly have enough time because, you see, there's this tendency that runs through my life, which is called lazy asshole, um, which tends to <laughs> make it so that I don't do anything until the very last moment, and right now I need to finish some of the research papers for my university, and instead of, you know, quitting tarding around back in the day when I had the time to finish it, Instead of doing it right now, when the Heart of the Swarm is out, I'm going to do it now! Yes! Because fuck logic, right? Why would you anything ever do anything in advance? That would be fucking stupid, right? Save your own time and everything? That's just stupid. And tonight, as I was playing... Last night. Yeah, to, last, yeah this night. This night, on, on the 12th. I was so tired. You could not imagine. I was just collapsed in the bed. Like, <laughs> okay. Log! Oh, wow. Dominion security outpost in cliffs above valley, out of reach. Oh, Raptor's gonna be. Adaptation required. <gasps> He's like a selling, you know. The Local <gasps> Karak vault through air, attack prey, devour Karak, collect essence, can assimilate trait into Zergling Strand. I'm sorry, how the fuck Karak killed the Layoti? Dominion outpost within reach. Okay. That's pretty cool, look at it, there's no building or whatever, we just we just drop in here and we work our way. Leaping character. Oh, we got the essences, we got four essences now. Okay. Essence acquired. Wow. Sequence spun into Zergling Strand. Augmented Zerglings ready for combat. Unbelievable, look at this bastard. Good. Let's see them in action. How much I want to see them in action. I love their wings, they're like huge. 
Well, come on, man. In such numbers, everything will be effective. Even drone rush will be effective. It's like, how much is it? 81 fucking zero. Of course, everything will be effective in such numbers. Look at them. They're like creepers. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Unbelievable. This is so... I want it in multiplayer. Like, now. <laughs> like, yesterday. Oh my god, look at those bastards. Oh my god, they're like... Wow. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, so many of them. Ha ha ha, this is so good. I like how they leap into position to attack, which gives you a lot more freedom into what upgrades you choose. Incredible. In unbelievable. This is so good. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Planet Astrid 3. Feral Zerg Brood. Okay. Feral hatcheries evolved unique <coughs> adaptation. Morph Zerglings very fast. Mm -hmm. I'm taking control of the hive cluster right now. Incorporating adaptation into swarm. There's a Dominion force on this world, inbound on the hive cluster. Work fast, Abathur. Okay. Swarmling strain complete, ready to morph. That's a lot of larva. So if we morph. Strain. Oh my god, they. Oh my god. They're really quick in morphing. They're just really quickly. <laughs> they morph in like several seconds. Oh my, in two seconds time. They morph a little bit way too quick. Oh my, that's really competitive. I thought Raptor would be uncontested, but there's so fucking many of the swarmlings. They morph... Wow, that's really cool actually. Attackers eliminated. Ready to morph additional zerglings. Destroy base. <laughs> I like the simplicity with which he gives recommendations and advices and suggests. Look at this. There's so many of them. There's just too many of them. Then shoot everywhere. Then shoot everywhere. <laughs> This is so awesome! Look at this! So many! Which one am I going to choose? I'm too awesome! What is this? Swarmling stain. <laughs> My god, raptors are awesome, but the swarmlings are... <clears throat> With swarmlings it would be a lot better to take um, uh, wings, right? Adrenal boost or whatever it's called, right? So that they run faster since there are already so many. Whereas with... Amazing, man. I don't know which one I want. It will dictate the way I will play for the rest of the game. <coughs> I apologize. So, Swarmlings are... Swarmlings are incredibly... Resolved. Spawns in groups of three. Morphs in two seconds, right? <coughs> That's absolutely incredible. If you need to defend, like, really fast... And you have plenty of larva, which normally you shouldn't have, right? But if there's such a situation, they're perfect solution for the defense. Because there's so many of them, they can stop pretty much any ground force. Because there's just too many of them. And it works. It seems to be working incredibly very well. Now, this one is... They gain plus 2 damage, an increase of 40%. Ah, alright. So they are a lot more competitive in terms of their effectiveness, right? So they're not just leaping around, but they also have additional damage. You know what? This actually persuades me to take them. Because I like the fact that they leap around, it just gives you so much more mobility. It's like your basic unit becomes a reaper, and oh my god, they leap over roaches as well. This really is perfect, because they they can get into position so goddamn quickly, and there's nothing to really stop them or counter. Oh, look at this poor siege tank. Demolished before he could land even a single shot. Although swarmlings are amazing and kind of forgiving, I think I will go with these bastards, I really like them. <laughs> Incredible, man. Raptor evolved. Look at this bastard. He's perfect. I wanna live my little bit raptor bastard. It, it's gonna be like my guard dog, you know, like imagine, imagine! Like, you know, a thief gets in your house, right? 
which is not a good thing normally, but you have a raptor, and you're like, raptor, kill him, jump on him. The thief is like, ah, and yeah, you get the rest, right? <laughs> <coughs> Apologize. Now, movement speed by 60% is very exciting, but it's incredibly unnecessary, because he's already freaking jumping around like an asshole, you know? We don't, we don't need it. It's, it's good, but it's unnecessary. He's going to be very, very quick and jump really, really fast, catching up everything. But is it necessary? I don't think it is, because he's already he's already very mobile as is, without additional speed. I just need to spread creep all over the place. Adrenal Overlord seems like, Overlord seems a very logical solution, as he will be able to get this additional damage as they will get in position really quickly. Hardened Carapass is also a great solution, because it also boosts their health, which I really like, which makes them... I'll take the health. Health seems like an, a great, amazing choice right now because like they are already really competitive in terms of damage. I don't really care about damage anymore so much, so I can, I can just focus on something else. Okay, so we evolved the Zerglings, and now we can actually six missions. Okay, now we can go ahead and start with the next mission. Our scouts report. Okay, yeah, we, we listen to this. We listen to this mission. Mission. The have launched a vessel from the dark side of Calder. We are still able to sense its presence, but time is running short. I really like her voice, but I really li don't like the lackage of nose. That is slightly, slightly overwhelmingly, <laughs> at the same time, unappealing, right? Bonus objective rewards. Plus one Kerrigan. Level Roach. Evolution mission. Brutal. Go. Let's butcher them sons of bitches. Your ships escaped. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. For what I must do to you. For what Your I friends must on that ship can sense you. For what they I know they do left Oh my god, why? For what I must do to you. Uh -huh. Walk you to their ship. For what I must because do to I'm you. blocking them. For what no. I must do to you. No! But if for I what I must do to you. For what I must do, do to you. Do not warp me in, Templar! For what I must do not! Do for what I must let the other Protoss take her? Stop it! For what I must do to you. For what I must do to you. For what I must do to you. Just shut up! God! Fucking shit! Why are you... Oh my god, it's ruined the entire cinematic business! Why? Why? <clears throat> Blizzards, you sons of bitches! Fix your fucking game! Trying to enjoy... Shit! It's, I don't know what they've done with their game, right? But with the, some of the recent patches, this thing was consistent in Wings of Liberty. It would happen all that. I don't know why it happens, right? I don't understand. And as my FPS dropped to like 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, okay, whatever, 3, 1. <laughs> yeah, man, this is shit. Okay, so she placed a parasite into her, like a broodling or whatever. Let's go. Control a hero other than Kerrigan. Use their unique abilities to kill your enemies. Uh, and so they warped her in, and nothing good's gonna come out of it. Yeah, I remember that cinematic. Nothing good coming out of this. The, the Templar must be warned. <clears throat> now. Listen carefully. This ship contains many dangers. Follow my commands and hide in the shadows. It's much like Ellen Moody. Infest this ship and kill every last protoss. Oh, oh, I'm gonna be alien. Look at this. Oh, I'm a larva. Look at me. Oh, I'm adorable. Look at me. I'm a larva. Parasitic invasion causes the larva to leap toward the past the, the targeted creature. Invested and take control. And spawn your brood. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, again, by mass. <laughs> I'm a hero larva. Oh my god. <laughs> This is like the funniest thing ever created in the history of video I'm Larva, look at me! <laughs> look at me, I'm fucking Larva! So what's the mission? What do I do? This vessel is bloated with life. Easy to find biomass. I don't see any biomass. So I use this thing to infest and take control. Unbelievable. Armor to move speed 1.2. I'm not really armored, I have to be really careful. Look at me, I'm alien. Oh. A zealot. Use your parasitic invasion to hide within that creature. What was that noise? Hmm. So what the Alright. He's gone. Can 
consume your host and move on. So you're saying I cannot jump on him? Can I jump on Zealot? Ah, I cannot kill him. Hide in the steam vents until it passes. Oh, oh my god, a stealth man. Look at this. Ch -ch -ch. I'm stealthy larva. Shut up, you guys. I got it under control. <laughs> sentry. Stupid sentry. Oh my god, if to run. Okay, I'm good. There's no way around those zealots. Invade the Ursidon. Oh my god. Are you serious? This is awesome! The Zerg have infested the Ursidon! Bomb. So the Protoss think they have a few infested animals. They have no idea what they're up against. This Ursadon is fucking gargantuan beast. You ain't my green away from me. I jumped over you. <laughs> the time has come for you to grow into a brood mother. You, you are you serious? From one fucking larva? Oh my god! This is so broken. Why is it not in the multiplayer? Why? Okay, wait a second. We'll take a pause on this excited note, and I'll see you soon. Next time, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this video and my commentary, do not forget to put a like on this video and favorite it. Have a greatest day, I hope to see you once again here, and bye-bye.